Hey there, Lickin' Riffers, and welcome back to yet another awesome fingerstyle arrangement lesson here on Lickin' Riff, in which we're gonna learn Bella Ciao. So first I'm gonna play with the arrangement so you can see and hear how it goes, and then we're gonna break it down lick by lick with tabs right here on the screen so you can play it yourself. It goes like this, enjoy. Before we start breaking it down and showing you exactly how to play this, I would like to remind you of the big giveaway that's going on right now on Lick and Riff. Uh, yep, Lick and Riff is collaborating with none other than Fiverr. And uh, remember the intro at the beginning, the animated intro? That came from Fiverr, and uh, Fiverr is inviting you to sign up via Lick and Riff, so check the link below in the description for the affiliate link that will tag you as a Lick and Riffer, so they could uh, raffle and enable you to win some sweet Fiverr credit. Now, in case you don't know, Fiverr is the world's largest marketplace for freelancers, so you can hire any freelancer you need um, at extremely affordable prices. They have everything you need, logo design, marketing experts, uh, video game designers even, um, website SEO experts, and just everything, business writing, campaign managers, um, virtual assistants, anything you need for your business or for your life or for your YouTube channel, um, the new uh, Lick and Ref banner also came from Fiverr. The t-shirt store is thanks to Fiverr. So those are just very, very small examples of what you can get on Fiverr. So click the link below in the description and go check it out. Hire some freelancers uh, that you need for your business and uh, you will enter the raffle that uh, will enable you to win some Fiverr credit. They'll choose the winners at the end of June. So click the link below in the description and that will tag you as a Lickin' Refer, they'll know you came through me, and that will uh, automatically get you into the raffle. So thank you so much, Fiverr, and um, let's start learning ballad. Ciao. So put on A minor, okay, A minor. Um, and um, it's a pretty um, common A minor line. It's strings four, three, two, but on the second string you play zero, one. Okay, uh, just like Californication and a million other songs, but um, you play the fifth string, okay, the A string, along with one on the second string. So it's, okay, and then it's two on the third string. It's inside the chord. So that's the first and second licks, okay, and then again, okay. Now you can hammer on the one, you can do, if you want, you can play zero hammer on to one, okay? And we'll talk about the feeling of the song after I teach you the, uh, the basic licks, okay? I'll teach you um, how to think about the song when you play it so it sounds happy and uh, festive, just like the original, okay? We'll add the rhythm later, okay? Let's learn the basics first. So after you play this twice, Um, you play strings two and three again, okay? And then you put this, okay? This is five, five, five on strings one, two, and three. This is A minor. And then you can play it twice more, okay? Or just the first string twice on five. And then you put on G. You can put on this G, okay? The open G chord. You can put on the uh, barred chord, okay? Doesn't really matter. What matters is that three on the first string is your note. So, okay, you can even put a, an F shape there on three, so. Okay, and then you have three, three again on the first string, and then you have F, 
okay? You play the chord twice. Again, you can put the, uh, the economic F, you can put the, um, the barred shape, doesn't really matter, okay? And then uh, it's E, that's it. So it's F, F, E, okay? And again, what's important is the one, one, zero on the first string, so you, you can play just bass and chord in here, basically, you can play, Okay, you can just play bass and chord if you like, but um, they sing the song in harmony. So I prefer to play it in harmony. Okay, now the keen eared among you hear that I'm opening the string in between chords. That's just my personal style, okay? It's nothing fancy, I just like opening strings in between chords sometimes if the, the key of the song fits because that that just adds a little bit more finger style spice to it but you don't have to do it okay and um, then you play okay three zero on the second and first strings okay three with your third finger leading you into a D minor chord Okay, and then you put on the D minor and you play strings one and four, and then the second string again on three. Now you can play, okay, you can harmonize with the third string, okay? Okay, but we'll talk about that when we get to rhythm because uh, part of the rhythm is the play between the notes and the harmony. Okay, so, okay, again, just a, a very, very common D minor line. Um, and then you have this, okay? So you're on this D minor, and then you go to this D minor, okay? Five, six, seven on strings one, two, and three, it's the high notes of the barred D minor line, uh, D, D minor chord. So the line is this, five, six, seven on strings one, two, and three, and then, okay, using your little finger, you play uh, eight, six on the second string. Okay, so, and then you put on the A minor with five, 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 and you play, okay, strings one and two with the fifth string. Now, of course, I harmonize with the third string when I play this, uh, the second string, so it's, okay, um, so it's in the tab, okay, because here I do think that the harmony is very important in this specific line, because if you just do this, Okay? It's kind of weak, and if you do this, okay, uh, it's an interplay between this harmony and this harmony. Uh, so that's why I did put the harmonization uh, in this specific lick in the tab. We have one lick to go, and then we'll talk about rhythm. Uh, you have zero one on the second string, and then you have this. Okay, this is E seven. Okay, it's three one on strings two and three with the sixth string. And then the open E string, zero one on the second string, and the rest of the A minor chord strings three, four, and five. So, okay, now let's talk rhythm for a second. Um, it's, it's a happy, it's, it's an upbeat, um, it's an upbeat arrangement, the original song. Um, even though it's a sad song and kind of political, um, it's, it's usually like that. Usually very happy songs have very, very sad lyrics. Um, it's, it's, it's interesting how it works, but this is not a music philosophy lesson. This is a finger style guitar lesson. So, um, you, you want to get that feeling into the song. So it's, okay, so what I do is I play bass, slap, bass, slap, but after the slap, I play the chord again. That's my strategy here. In between the slap and the bass, and uh, it works on the second uh, lick as well. Okay, now here, granted, it's in the lyrics, um, the, the the chords, but instead of playing, 
Okay, just 5-5, five, five, I play the whole chord. And then... Okay, so the, the bass and slap kind of give me uh, the feeling. And, and it's the third, uh, the, the third lick here. Okay, it's exactly like the first. Okay, the lick. Um, slap, chord, and then the bass again. Okay. And then uh, we have the high D minor. Okay, so it's... Okay, and then, okay, you see, it's the same rhythm pattern. I have the bass and five, and then the rest of the chord, slap chord, okay, and then the bass. So it's the same pattern, okay? okay? And then, okay, the slap with the note, okay? And then we have this. Okay, so I harmonize with double stops okay? um, on the second and third strings and then the third and fourth, but you can do okay, what's written in the tab, it's just, uh, just as good. So um, okay, and then I kind of uh, give it a dramatic pause there um, to indicate the end of the verse. So that's my approach to the rhythm of this song. So you go download the tab. The link is below in the description. The tabs on Lick and Riff are always for free. And while you do that, also open another tab and click the other link, the link to Fiverr, and enter the raffle to win some Fiverr credit. And um, I must uh, tell you that they will favor people who make actual purchases on Fiverr. That will give you a better chance to win the raffle. Okay, but you can enter the raffle um, and take your chances. Okay, but um, as you can see on Lick and Riff, um, on Lick and Riff itself, the banner, the intro, the t-shirts, um, Fiverr is an amazing resource for whatever you need uh, for your business. And they're just a magnificent, magnificent website. So thank you very much, Fiverr. Thank you very much, Lick and Riffers. I'll see you in the next lesson. Bye for now and enjoy.